Hey, this is Mike with the SEO-Alien.com, and welcome to Understanding Google Drive. Um, the reason, really, why I'm sharing this is because uh, with what I'm doing with social media and the clients that I get, is we're creating, you know, social media profiles that all require uh, usernames, passwords, and things like this. Well. It used to be where I used to uh, share with email, I'd share their file, but the file was always updating, always changing, uh, because we're always growing and things, you know, you're adding new social media sites or whatnot. So it was much easier just to share this directly with the customer, and that way anytime something was added or something was changed, um, they saw it live. And it's pretty cool, but there's a lot more applications than just for business. and. Uh, even for social media, there's some things you can do with Google Drive that are really cool uh, to help increase engagement, uh, even promote products, and, and you know get your customers' opinions. Um, it doesn't matter where you are in social media, whether you have a business or you know you're just doing it for fun or whatever. I think you'll find some of these tools pretty cool. So let's just jump into it and let's start from scratch on what we're doing here. If you just go to Google.com you will have an option here to sign in. So we're going to sign in and I just created a temporary email for this example so you can see what it looks like when you start from scratch. So this is what we're going to do here and we're going to sign in to our G uh, Google account. At the top you'll see you, that's going to be your Google Plus profile, a uh, direct link to your Gmail and there's another grid over here that if you open it, if you click on it, you're going to see all these different shortcuts to YouTube, Google Plus, uh, and there's one down here called Drive. So when you click on Drive for the first time, there's not going to be anything in here most likely. It'll be blank and it's kind of like, okay, well, what do I do now? Well, there's a lot you can do. And you'll see over here too, which is pretty cool, just real quick because I'll turn this off. But if you're sharing documents or you're sharing folders, you can see activity as far as who's editing or who's changed anything. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and just start from scratch. So what do we do? Well, let's create first. Let's create a folder. Uh, it's just like you would save on your on your hard drive when you create a folder. So this one we're going to call Google Understanding Google Drive. Okay, and we're going to create that folder. So now within that folder, we can create subfolders. So let's go in here and let's just uh, take a tour of what we can do. There's that create button at the top left. When you open that, you can create a drawing. And I'm not going to go into that app, but you should go in there and just fool around with it. It's pretty cool. All right, and then we have forms. Forms are what you can use in social media, um, you can use it with your customers to fill out questionnaires, uh, a lot of different things there. We're actually going to create one at the very end. And then you have spreadsheets, which are like uh, your Excel spreadsheets. And this is the one that I use the most for creating usernames, passwords, and things like that, and just sharing it with that one person. So they're the only one that have access to it. Uh, presentation is, is awesome. It's like PowerPoint. It's not quite as sophisticated as PowerPoint, but it's very simple to use, which is cool. So you can put your own presentations together and share those. And again, you can collaborate with other people if you assign this to other people. And then a document, such as a Word document. So what we're going to do here, just for fun, is let's, uh, let's create a spreadsheet and let's share it. And that's so you can see exactly what happens. Well, first thing is you need to title your spreadsheet. Okay, so let's give it a title. You can do that by clicking at the very top. Now it does give you um, little help bubbles that pop up. You can close those. So we're going to call this uh, sample spreadsheet, and we're going to click OK. Now you might put uh, something like you know site your username, your password, and any other notes you want to put in there. And you know, you can get sophisticated here. You can highlight, you can border, um, you can do different features up here, just like a regular Excel spreadsheet. So 
let's share this. I want to share this, right? Well, let's close out of here first, and let's see where this went because it automatically saved itself. So I'm going to go to my drive. There's understanding Google Drive, and then there's my spreadsheet. Pretty simple, huh? Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and share this spreadsheet. What I do is click the button. I'll go to more, and I'll go to share. Now I'm going to share this with myself, um, and then show you what it does. Let's see this. Okay, now I'm going to share this, and I can notify people via email. I do suggest you do that if you ever share, so they get a link in their email. Um, because if you don't do that, it might be a little hard for them to find. They may not get notifications, so always notify. In this case, I'm not going to notify myself because I know I'm getting it. And I click Done. So now you can see this is shared. When I open the spreadsheet, what's cool about it is if other people are viewing it, I can see them. It'll tell me at the top here if other people are viewing it. So let's go to who I just shared it with, which was me. And when you, someone's sharing a folder with you, you may not see it in your main drive. You may have to go to Shared with Me. And then you'll find it in here. So here's the sample spreadsheet that was shared with me. Now, in order to get that out of there, what you can do is you can click the little box again, and you can move it, move to... And if you had to create a new folder, you can. I'm going to create a new folder called Google Docs. Create. And now I just moved it there. Now, when I go in and, and I see this with, uh, when I log in again just as me, now I can go to my drive, and I have a folder called Google Docs. And you'll see in here that's shared. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now watch what happens. Let's say you're sharing documents with each other, and I want to write something in here. Let's say you're both watching this live. Well, check this out. I'm going to comment on the person that I just shared it with, and you see it highlighted purple. And it even tells you who's editing it who's doing. So you can share this with several people. Um, let's just put Facebook in here and Facebook appears. And everybody can edit, do things at the same time. You can put in your username's password. Share this with just uh, your family or, or you know, whatever your purpose you need it for. And look at the top right up here. You can also see who's who's sharing this document. So that's pretty darn cool. Okay, That's, that's one of the reasons why I use it for business. And I'm going to show you one other example here of, of creating something for social media that you can use that's really cool, uh, even images as well. Um, you can share images on Google+, on Twitter, things like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a form real quick because these are pretty cool. And you can use these for social media engagement and things like that. Um, even if you're a business, you can you can use questionnaires, surveys, however however you want to use this. So I'm just going to call this Google Drive Survey, and I'm going to use the default one. But you can go through here and see there's lots of different uh, forms you can use, and I'm going to click OK. So here's question one: uh, Do you use Google Drive and you can have all these different answers you can you can or questions you can ask in here here's multiple choice um, check boxes choose from a list well we'll just go multiple choice and option one we're gonna just say yes option two we'll just say no and we click done all right, now you can change, you can make these required fields, um, things like this in here. I believe there's a, re yeah, right here, required question, done. Okay, and then we can add another item. So here's our, here's our questions, however we want to do it. Now, 
watch this. If you click that drop down menu, it gives you a bunch of different choices. I can add an image, which I'm going to do in a second and show you something pretty cool too. And all the different choices. So do you use Google Drive? Let's go again, multiple choice. Let's create another one. Um, after watching, let's change this a little bit. After watching this video, will you try it more? Okay, and you can just do multiple choice. So here's option one again, yes. Option two again, no. And we click done. It's uh, for that as a required question. Now here's something cool too when you're doing this, um, especially if you're building a list or or, you're, or something like that, you can go to add item here and use an image. Now in, in this case, I already have one designed uh, for for our newsletter. So let's see, let's join our newsletter. So I'm going to upload this. Now this is a huge picture, but I can I can edit it on the questionnaire. So I'm going to take this and we're going to shrink it down where it's quite a bit smaller. Okay, now I'm going to put image title. And the image title is actually going to be a link to the uh, newsletter form on the SEO Alien website. So I'm just going to put that link in here, and that will be a hyperlink. Watch this. Done. Okay, so now at the bottom I have some more choices. Show link to submit other responses. No, just, just do it once. I choose this one, publish, and show a link of the results. It's pretty cool. The results page is pretty pretty darn interesting. So if you want to view uh, the form, you can go up here and go to view live form, and here's what it looks like. So there's a link to the uh, SEO Alien newsletter, join our newsletter. Okay, so do you use Google Drive? Uh, after this, do you uh, we use it more? Yes, and I'm going to click Submit. Okay, now see previous responses or create your own form. It's a Google Drive thing. And now you can see the responses on here as, as, they, as they come in. So let's go back to Google Drive. And you'll see here now in this form I have responses. I can go in here, I can get summary responses right here, and there it is. And you can share this. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, just think about all the different questions you could ask on social media and things like that. But let me show you something that's even cooler than this now is you can send form. When you click send form, I can share it directly on Google+. Um, I can share it on Facebook. I can share it on Twitter. Or if I just want to share this with a group of people, I can just share it with a group of people. Maybe it's a set of business people. Maybe it's uh, just friends or whatever. But uh, it's it's fun. And you should use it in your social media. And what's cool with this, too, is when you do share this, let me just copy this link here real quick. Uh, when you do share this, and you go to your social media profile. And I'm gonna I'm gonna jump over here to my profile. In fact, let's do this. Let me go to Google Hangouts and I'll post this right below so you can see what happens. Okay, let's see if that pulls in the link. Yeah, I may have to do it the other way, so let me do it this way. Let me go to my profile. Because what it does is it actually pulls in the form. It's pretty cool how it does it. Like an image. So let's share this link. and watch what happens. See it pulls in the form. So people see it as an actual form on your page and you can link it like I said wherever you want. It's pretty cool. So think of all the different ways that you could use this for your business perhaps. Um, 
maybe you're sharing a book. Uh, you need to share it with an editor. You, everybody can see it at the same time. Um, I always use the example of hot sauce. Uh, you could send people a questionnaire on the hot sauce about their order. Did you enjoy it? Did you receive it in time? And then put a link on it that sends them to another special. You know, it, the, the ways you can use this are, are truly limitless. And I uh, hope you learned enough here to become dangerous and, and want to learn more about uh, Google Drive and how it works. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact me at uh, info at seo-alien.com. You can even comment below, and I'll do my best to answer you as quick as I can. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, to your success.